Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with more Monster. I will be watching episodes 47 and 48. Last time around we witnessed one of my favorite moments from Monster, man. It was such a nice reveal. I mean nice, story-wise, right? And uh, it made perfect sense regarding my boy Grimmer having like a monster inside of himself as well and also coming from Kinderheim 511, right? And Magnificent Steiner being his monster. He's like a completely uh, opposite of Johan, man. He's trying to uh, do good, righteous thing, man. To, uh, I guess learn the truth about the Kinderheim experiments. We learned about his past and that he grew up in artificial uh, neighborhood, as he said, with someone pretending to be his mom and learning all these languages, right? And the toughest thing of all was to learn how to smile, man. And that's when the realization kicks in that he is basically being used and <clears throat> trained to be like a spy, brainwashed his whole life, man. And that he never smiled and that it was the toughest, toughest thing for him. And now we see him most of the time with that smile on his face, man. Knowing that he lost a child hits even harder man grimmer is such a fantastic character that he's able to look so positively at the world and try to be like a positive influence man and <sighs> inspiration for the kids and all of that bro and even now he's literally like wanted man and he wants to go to hospital to be there for suk to prove he's innocent i mean suk is a whole different story bro as well like, it's sad because he's also such a nice guy who wanted to become a detective. That was his like, childhood dream, literally. And he became one and he his heart is in the right place, right? He wants to do a good thing, but all these like chain of <clears throat> deaths in the police department, it's all tied to Suk in some way, right? So... It basically seems like it's 100% his fault, but we know that he doesn't have to do anything with with all those murders. That Johan killed those two guys in previous episodes, man. It's insane how our unfortunate Suk is, bro, but also how smart Johan is for, for using him, man. He knew when to strike, what is the best time for it, man. So, yeah, we have this trio of Suk, Grimmer and Tenma like in one room which was really like exciting man uh, I like how Tenma was uh, asking Grimmer about Kinderheim as well Grimmer was like you don't care about that right and Tenma was like no I do care about Kinderheim tell me what you know and sadly his memories are hazy right he remembers the cracking ceiling the dark uh, hallway and all of that but yeah i just wanted to say that those were some of my favorite episodes man so i'm excited for the next one so let's begin okay guys everything is ready let's begin sorry if you can hear the uh, fan in the back it's too hot i have to keep it on during recordings as well man is that johan man even the way he walks man in heels like he like literally became Anna, man. Like it's insane. Wait, yeah, that is him, right? Why in such a rush? Okay, I have no clue what is happening. And is this Anna or Johan? Dieter, this is Anna. For some reason, they know me. 
Oh my god, they're here as well. Wow. So yeah, all those people know Anna, right? Because it was Johan. But now that she came there to the same place, of course that's gonna weird the fuck out of her, man. Alright, the door to nightmares. They in the hospital? Yeah, it's not guarded at all. Or maybe it's a trap or something. I doubt. Did they? Give false info regarding that incident. What did she say? Transferred? Hmm, that makes sense why there is no security. She has no idea. He did have gunshot wounds, and I think three of them. Oh man, where the fuck is my boy Suk, bro? This is not good. あ、元豪一一金田ハイムの院長で古畑で文理の養護施設をやっていたペドロフが沈まぎわに俺に見つけ殺の連中がそれを欲しがっているのに預けてある。それのせいで数区刑事は大怪我を負い、病院から何者か
30 years ago. His nephew, intelligence officer, Czechoslovakian embassy, okay? And she had a kid. And that was the kid. But the kid he probably deeply regrets that decision when he eventually found out about the ways of the kinderhood. He can't remember anything. Fuck, man. Okay, he's trying to get back on the business tracks. Ready to go for today. Alright. Seems like this guy at least has some emotions. Yeah, but we don't know where the tape and documents are. Remembered something. He's going back in. Yeah, but he's... He looked forward to the weekly Koko operation. Oh my god. Damn, he was such a nice kid, bro. Remember him? Remember did our friends remember who we were? Holy shit. Of the insects and to draw. Because he saw the butterfly. He remembers every single detail all of a sudden. Damn, bro. This is making me so much sad, man. Wow. Holy shit, I just got chills, man. Fuck, bro. I mean, yeah. Like, after childhood like that, man. That person will be broken for life, bro. The fuck is that girl? Don't hide things from him. What is happening? Somebody got caught cut on ropes. This is some sort of hypnosis. The three frogs. Okay. Okay. Anna is remembering something. Yeah, this is where they grew up, man. And if their mother is still alive. Oh boy. 
あのテープも資料も、ご証言が待ちきれないらしい。They came back again? チェコスロバキア秘密警察の連中がわざわざお出ましだ。Is this guy himself? クリと考えていただけましたかなああ、テープも研究資料も渡す気はない。<笑> oh my god, g r i m e r I love this guy. あのテープと資料はこの世から消えてなくなる、うん、そういうくだらないやりとりはやめましょうただしテープの音だけは聞かせてやってもらう友人とのビジネスを忘れることだ、okay. あくまであなたが個人的に聞きたいというのならテープの音を聞かせてあげてもいい money or あなたは聞くべきだ that can be connection to his snapchat あのテープに吹き込まれた。ヨハンという日などしていない。もうやめてくれ。こんなことやってる場合じゃないんだ。今こうしている間にも、そのテープの聖伝説の関係者が、今回何人殺されたと思ってるんですか彼らは誰に殺されたと思ってるんですか That is true. そのテープを一番欲しがっている人間だ。Exactly. そのテープに吹き込まれた声の主。ヨハンヒムさんにだ。わからない。とぼけないでくれあなたはドイツの友人にあれがどういうテープなのか聞いているはずだ、うん、何を手に入れろと言われたんだ And I wonder who is that German friend ただそれだけ The true identity of the monster あなた方を巻き添えにしたくなかっただがすべて話すよまた何人も殺される前に Grimmer will finally know why is Tenma involved in all of this I was waiting for this moment でそのヨハンは自分のルーツを求めてここプラハにやってきた。いつもわからない。それらすべてを決済をしたんだ。ミカルスカチク、チェドックバシ近くにある親子がいた。その親子はある日、秘密警察に連れ去られた。3匹のカエルの看板のある建物からヨハンを連れ出して何をした。それは them that took them away。Was that her voice crying about her brother Johan? Pro. No recollection. いろいろな人間をどういう理由か報告することもなく自由に拘束できた。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていたんだろう。彼は何をやっていフランツ・ボナパルタ。ボナパルタ。Like、Napoleon. ボナパルタ。フランツ・ボナパルタ。ペンネイム。彼は絵本作家でもあったんだよ。Oh my god, bro! No fucking shot, man! The author of the picture book? The story about the monster? Was some freaky mastermind behind all of this? Even the picture book? With the purpose to create monsters. The monster without name. Yeah, and Venana was remembering right now. She remembers like the pictures from the book of the monster consuming people. Who the fuck is that Franz freak? Is it that dude who is like hypnotizing? I'm welcoming myself back home. Jesus Christ. Bro, <laughs> that is so fucking insane. And she's holding the picture book. And the face that she made was so creepy. Oh, the Johan, the boy from the picture book. Let's see if we can piece something together from this. I mean, since we see 
like people there this is before he went outside the castle right we know that the boy killed everyone so it continued the journey to meet with the other half of the monster so we probably get anything here yeah man everything is coming back together bro and it seems like we are going to find out about Johans and Anna's like past before they went into Germany right the, their actual childhood and who the fuck is Franz Bonaparte and why did he give these kids that book man what purpose does he have bro did, did he like had a plan in his mind to create like a child monsters to feed them these like fucked up and dangerous ideas man i have no clue but those people from the brief flashback of anas are going to be probably important so we see the chubby dude with the glasses drinking wine we see the dude saying you can be whatever you want to be right who looks like very manipulative and that he's like hypnotizing them and we see the wine glass breaking and remembering johan being dragged out right and her welcoming herself back man which is very creepy as well so those are some things to note man let's jump to the next one such a masterful show man the scene of Grima remembering his friend as well the fact that they were telling other friends about them so that in that way they will like keep the memories of each other damn bro like developing story all the way to the actually book author it's not some author that like died they just ago or something it all seems like it has its own purpose man it, picture book was so fucking important but now even more and what is exactly this with little anna like welcoming her self back as somebody else's memories man. yeah and that guy those eyes man And why does she look so scary, bro? What if that's like Johan cross dressing? Okay, I'm, I'm like maybe going too far, bro. Like, I don't know what to, to, to think anymore, bro. This is what this show is doing to my head, man. But it's just so fucking cool. The tape is with her. Yeah, it's dementia, dementia and maybe Alzheimer's disease. Oh, is this Johan dressed as Anna? And you can actually the, hear the voice. Now I can actually make this thing, this... Uh, I can distinguish it's Johan. Poor woman, man. Yeah, it's like Jan was in love with Johan. I mean, <laughs> while he was being dressed as masked as Anna. Anna, 
何でも話してリーナはとってもおしゃれなのそれでねコテリーナ and the fact that he's listening to the stories こんな楽しみに久しぶりよかったあなたに何かお礼をしなくっちゃお礼なんて私はただあのカセットテープああそれならそこに Fuck, it's such a good show, bro. Yep, <laughs> he finally got his hands to take the scariest thing. What the timing, eh? Oh, no, 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 あんたには無関係だなんて言って悪かった。<笑>さっき聞かされた。とテープが糸口になって全貌が明らかになれば、あんたの無実は晴れるかもしれない。グリマーさん、あなた何だったのか調べ続けていた。だがな、すべてが分かっても、俺の人生に変わりはないよ。My life won't change at all. Yeah, the damage is already. He's already been done. Suku-san, your father, when you were here, was very good. Who? 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 Serious. Yan no bill in it, let it to the hospital. He's in Yan, but I had a many after in the show. You can told her that she was in a Ataman on a car to the Mohaki. It was very clear. I should have you be something. This is so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Yan looks like she will be in a oh shit. Okay, looks like she. Doesn't feel like the symptoms of disease that she is like capable of having a normal conversation. Kurimasa. Himitsuke satsuta no. Oh, he's gonna see his mom, bro. Akasa. Yan, do you think I should have called you? I didn't want to be worried about you. I didn't want to be worried about you. あの時と同じだなった木から落ちたでしょう。Oh. 私が心配してるのに、あなた何でもない、平気だよって歩いていた。ひどい捻挫し。The burden and scare his mother, man. He's such a kind soul, bro. やんは私の子。いろんなことが記憶から消えても。どうか神様。やんのことだけは忘れさせないで。Ah, that's such a fucked up disease, man. What? He actually left the tape. Did he make a copy of it? So, when he says that, and when I was saying that that part was so hypnotizing, bari bari, kusha kusha. This is too much. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, you should listen. あなたが五一一キンダーハイムに送り込んだお芋、この薬物投与さ、知るべきだ。聞かなくてはいけない。この先を。僕が一番怖いもの。それはね、アンナを忘れてしまうこと。Don't forget Anna. 毎日毎日おかアンナを忘れさせない。Don't let me forget Anna. 世界にはアンナと僕。This is so sad. And just like what Sok's mother was saying, that's when it's cut off. Oh my God! He left a message. Oh my God! You're a fucking madman. I mean, yeah, he heard Johan's voice. Exactly. Bokuga Dokoe Kubekika Yatoa Katayo, Doctor Tema. 
I need to go doctor then, no, bro. This is so fucking good. There's no vacation. Who did? It's gonna be fucking Lunge going to Czech. That's his vacation. He's gonna continue chasing after Tenma. Vacation, my ass. Praha. Fuck. Fuck, bro. This is so fucking good, man. There he is. Ah. It's nice to see him change his suit, at least, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird for him that he's not working, man. That he can't even, like, think instantly that he's on vacation. I mean, you are in check, bro. Whatever you get will be fucking dope when it comes to beer, probably. <laughs> He actually feels like a human now. They don't know where he is. しかし、関係者が皆死亡してしまった今では、診断人間に全て罪を着せて終わりにできるほど、チェコ警察とプラ、さっさと捜査を続行しろ。そして、数区の行方も人間に会わん。第一、今それどころじゃない。it is a tongue. It is bro. He wants to speak to Czech police. Is, is he famous there? Yeah, he's quite famous. Yeah, he's quite famous. Yeah, he's quite <laughs> it's his first vacation ever, probably, and vacation. I mean, does Lunge, I'm sorry for pausing, even he has some clues that he will... I mean, oh my god, I'm so slow, guys. Like, Lunge actually thinks that he's on vacation. He actually took a vacation? And after talking to this guy, he will get probably involved, and we realize that Tenma is also here. Yeah, he actually thinks that he's on vacation. The blonde girl, right? Poison candy. Here we go. The first connection. The first connection. The first connection. The first connection. なるほど。で、その数区刑事は。で、誰、行方不明です。状況証拠は全てそこ we become the killer himself, and we saw that in action. Lunge was doing that in that one case, and he did that on multiple occasions. He's trying to become the killer. It's a bookstore. Um, he is in possession of the picture book, right? Yeah. 
あなたにこんなご趣味があるとは。噂け<笑> Did he connect that to the blonde beauty that the policeman mentioned? He knows that name, alright. Vacation, my ass, it's gonna connect to Tenma's case. Oh, this is so fucking good. The writing is phenomenal. エミル・シェーベの名前のないばまだ先代の社長の時代ですからねエミル・シェーベというのはペンネームかねええ。エミル・シェーベというのはペンネームかねええ。エミル・シェーベというのはペンネームかねええ。エミル・シェーベというのは
these sketches that he is reading it's from uh, another author so i wonder if it's all the same author but with different like pen names right the emil the franz bonaparte and the third one and could it be like straight up johans and anna's father or something who was drawing these books and it's one of the guys from the anna's brief flashbacks that we saw man like i don't know like drawing anna and johans pregnant mother right is the indication that it was somebody close to her either their father or another family member man it kind of makes sense right so yeah even that flashback of anna remembering like her young self like welcoming somehow like the main thing that we also focused on are memories man and the memory manipulation and just memories in general when it comes to humans i was saying in my previous video as well after seeing Suk's mom right and discussing like the alzheimer's disease right i was saying how uh, a person forgetting about his loved ones is like the worst disease possible man it's like you're alive but without memories man like you're just like empty shell the empty husk and that it's one of the most cruel diseases man it made me so emotional when Suk's mom was praying to god not for, to forget about her son the conversation with johan like sparked something within her so she was acting completely normal man she had memories and johan <laughs> cut out the recording and he recorded his new message for dr tenma right that he knows what he needs to do now and it was cut just when he said that he's getting drugged that he's losing his memories and that he doesn't want to forget about anna which makes me so sad because there is a good chance right now that Johann's monster I mean it's basically pretty much confirmed that Johann's monster I mean can I say that it's not pretty much confirmed man I was about to say that Johann's monster was created in Kinderheim but then I see that fucking picture book that Anna was holding when they were younger man before Johan was dragged by somebody right and he was probably dragged to Kinderheim in that moment when she remembered that I don't know man but yeah these two episodes were so satisfying for me man the writing is so good man Uh, speaking of memories as well, Grimmer, after seeing the butterfly on the car, right, remembering nephew of that uh, boss of the secret police, what he liked, his hobbies, what he wanted to become when he became an adult, right, he liked Coco, right, and he brought it to Grimmer even though it was like his favorite drink he wanted to share with him and they were talking to each other so and telling things about each other so that they wouldn't forget right if they get their memories erased so that somebody else can remind them one of their friends who they are and what is their name and stuff man Oof. a lot a lot of kids suffered very traumatic experiences man in this show and a bunch of them have screwed up memories and it's just so sad to see how all of them became like these broken adults man and we see many innocent good people like ten and Sook being dragged into this hell man yeah I will uh, stop yapping right now guys sorry I'm I just like that's how I do things man I just say what's on my mind most of the time man but uh right now i'm at the point where i'm just looking forward to next episodes man i'm i think i'm at the point 
where Monster is becoming literally a top tier show for me, man. I feel like I'm at the point where I'm really, really, really liking, starting to like Monster a lot, bro. It's so good. Thank you guys for watching as always. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.